What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, E Chill, aka Chill Summers, aka Mr. Chill himself. No, I'm playing. We out here. Um, one of my one of my boys, my brothers from from forever, hit me. You know, sometimes you gotta help your help your peoples out progress in, in their profession and in their in their interests. He hit me. He said I should talk about Bronny James, which I agree. Bronny James is definitely. Uh, topic of the hoop, the hoop community right now as a whole. Everybody wants to know: Was he ready to leave college? Is he ready for the NBA? Um, how his draft uh, progress is going? How the combine is going? So let's tap into a couple videos. Um, let me get my perspective, and yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got so far. Because even after this combine, it's still summer league and workouts and all type of shit that he can progress and he can still improve on um, before he even gets a shot to play in the G League, as we know, most likely he's going to be there. Because Which is no problem or slight the to the, the G NBA League. It's still when you think about devious the defense and <laughs> in how the G you League. Space the floor, et this is uh, his like second, advantage, you know? second uh, combine. We actually, we NBA I don't hear that. I hear the three. I feel like I could do everything on the court. So, you know, and then how you have to space the floor, et cetera. Okay. Definitely, I feel like I have an yeah, advantage. Attack the clothes you know? out. You can get a lot uh, of those. We played NBA Raw. A lot of those. I feel like very I do easy, everything on the very court. light so. attack close out. One of the things I ask you guys always at the Pick McDonald's and play here. Game, you missed a lot, but he made a good pass to the corner. We know Bronny can see the We know Bronny sees the floor. We know Bronny knows how to play basketball. He can take his metrics. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding, Gavoni. I'm kidding. I had to take the shot. I like that pull up. Hey, uh, but you know what? What he said is exactly right. Look at the way he's playing on the floor. Look at his movement mm -hmm. on the floor versus what we saw yesterday. The Let aggressiveness, the confidence, Shout the out Big Brown. control, and understanding how to operate the games than I did. Is that different from Reed Shepard? Reed Shepard was more disruptive playing the passing lanes uh -huh. with active uh, hands. Mm -hmm. Got two and a half steals per game. Right. He wasn't trying to get his. Was otherwise, I, I feel like that would have well, been a pass back in a regular game his setting. Range is right now. Shout out to him for getting his. Good pass. Range, so you're looking at mm. You're looking at San Antonio. That should have been another Wilson assist. Him actually playing. And Bill Shaw told cut, us plain and simple. Pick and roll. He would not play. But you see... How Good strong take. He was. Let me see. He wouldn't be playing. Good strong take. Told us plain and simple. Coming off this, he one thing be playing. I'm sure they preach this to him. One thing I think he'll be better at coming off this screen a little more. As you see, the 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 big that's guarding his big is in a drop or like a soft hedge. Um, he can come off this screen a little more tighter, just so <clears throat> just so he can cut off this angle that his defender takes on him. He's a long pause. He's a long he defender. He was able to keep a hand on him but the whole time. You really want to get in front of him and kind of eliminate his length. But he still got to the line. It's a good take. I love that he's being aggressive, though. So, that's Brown, after that's the main thing we need to see right now. It's him being aggressive. So it does get to be expensive. Spacing. Johnson, by the way, played pretty well yesterday. As Bronny good shot. lines up a three pointer in the corner again. It's a good shot. We know he can shoot the ball. Uh, it's, where, it's where he's most comfortable from beyond the arc. And yeah. more, especially catch and on shoot. The catch and shoot end. shooter. That's, That's a good. skill to be able to be vocal and be able to call out defense. Out there. Good pass. Oh. Should have been another assist. Pass was kind of late. Be pass was kind of late. And be able to call out defense. After this dribble, as soon as he's seen <clears throat> this big right here, he should have threw it straight to the rim. Where he took another dribble. As soon as he came off this and seen that big there, it should have been floated straight to the rim where only your big can catch it. That's an adjustment that you know he'll make, though, because he sees it. He just took one dribble too many. Great look, though. This year with my guy Dave Pash. Shameless plug. They got the W. What do you have? All right, Team St. Andrews wins that one at 90 oh, they to show, 80. They didn't show his uh, stats. I think it was like four for 10, two assists. Two in attendance. Bronny, it was very clear from all of us 10, here watching points, you today versus yesterday assists. that you seemed a little bit more comfortable out there. What was the difference between what you did yesterday and today? Uh, you know, I always you know try to play the right way, but. 
um, my teammates and my coaches just encouraged me to be aggressive because um, mm -hmm. they believe in me. Uh, I feel like that's a, you know, a big part of why I come out and you know play play the right way for my team and my teammates. So yeah, they really helped me today. In your media availability yesterday, you mentioned the comps to Drew Holiday, Davion Mitchell, uh, defensive-minded players. Uh, how do you see yourself continuing to be able to impact, uh, regardless of level, uh, that end of the floor in particular? Yeah, um, you know, I always try to come out and play with my, my most effort. Um, you know, of course, I you know, try to play the right way, but uh, you know, I, play, I play hard, and I'm going to always play hard. And I feel like that, you know, that shows up on the defensive end. Um, but, yeah, I just try to, you know, focus on that. And that's what gives me minutes in the, in, in the long run. Ronnie, today you played a little more off the ball than you did yesterday. You had the ball more in your hands. Are you a little more comfortable at this stage, especially against the professional environment, with playing off the basketball and being the recipient of a lot of great passes in comparison to having to be the playmaker? Yeah, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't, you know, see myself, you know, having a okay. ball every possession. Um, you know, and the coach doesn't see, my, see me having a ball every possession. So I'm, I'm comfortable playing, you know, the one and the two whether I'm playing on ball or off ball. So, you know, they put me in a good position today to be, to uh, produce and, you know, be great. All right, 13 points out there for Bronny James today. Good game, Bronny. Congratulations on winning and thank congratulations you. on going through the draft process. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, with that, we will head to a break as we. Young Bronny James, young Bronny James. Um, He's definitely not going to be off the ball. I think we can we can cut that out from the jump. <laughs> He's 100% not going to be off the ball at 6-1. He just needs to get a little more comfortable on the ball. We as we know, he didn't uh he didn't play a full season at SC. He had a little heart condition problems and stuff and went through surgery, came in. Uh I think he played yeah, he played off the ball for the most part at SC, but definitely in the pros, he would not be off the ball. He's not he's not tall enough to be off the ball. It's way it's way too much height in the NBA. And yeah, he's a good defender, but he's not guarding six six, six sevens. He's not he's not guarding those type of guys. It's not it's not happening. But um do I think Bronny is ready? Bronny is definitely not ready as we all we all know. He averaged four points, whatever assists in, in college. He's not ready for the league, but I think this G League stint won't be terrible for him. I mean, he's already, I'm sure he's been a pro, like mentally, his whole life. I know Brown's put him through all all workouts that he needs to be, talk to every single pro that you can imagine about mindset and seeing the game, and he, I know he's doing this film work. Like, as you can see, he knows the game, bro. He knows how to make the passes. He knows how to create for others. It's just at certain uh, at a certain point in time, once you put that work in, once you have that one good game, it's like the game just slows down for you, bro. Like it's actually crazy how it happens. Like you you'll watch film and then you'll see like okay, I come off this screen here and okay, you gotta know you gotta know your reads. You come off the screen, your first read is always, what is this big gonna do once I come off this screen? Is he in the drop? Is he hard hedging? Is he soft hedging? Is he hammering? Um, once you see that, it's okay. Boom, I know how to I know how to react to that read. And now I'm looking for what is my help side, my immediate strong side help side defender looking at. Is he is he helping? Is he hugging? Is he is he late? Is he already there? Like that's when you know if you got that lob pass, you got that kick to the corner, um, you got that drive for yourself. You got your mid range. You got your floaters. We seen him in the first combine uh, scrimmage. He had a couple floaters that are really, really good floaters. One, one was an excessive, excessive in height, but um, it's good to exaggerate sometimes because you do have those freakishly athletes that are in the NBA that's just gonna fucking blast your shit to the fucking fifth, fifth row. So he has that in his arsenal. There we go. The way the system has is structured in his right arsenal, now, these kids do get tremendously to play high some of the best. Great to have. It is that there's something here, but he, he wasn't playing here. Uh, at a level, and then all of a sudden he started to go to some regional great tournaments. And you got a footer in your game, you can be a point guard. Simple and plain, man. That's that's one of the one of the prerequisites of being a point guard. You have to have a footer. You're not going to get to the rim every time, bro. It's impossible. Do I think Brody's ready? No, would he be ready? 
I give him a couple of years. We've seen it with a few people. It's not people make it seem like it's such a crazy thing that oh why is why is Bronny coming out when he's not ready? Like we've seen it happen over and over again. The NBA drafts for potential, and if you don't understand that, then you don't understand how the NBA works, bro. They they see the potential. They see how high you jump, how long your arms are, how fast you run. Can he? Does he understand the? understand basketball concepts does he have the iq to make plays can he can he dribble by somebody and make and make somebody help does he draw attention like the potential is there six one six seven wingspan 40 inch vertical fast understands the game he just has he just needs the game to slow down for him a bit you know he needs to be able to make those plays i can see brownie i don't know about the drew holiday i mean maybe drew holiday right now Drew Holiday right now is a as a defender first, maybe like your third, fourth option. He can get you, he can get you uh, pretty much anything you need. Honestly, Drew Holiday, Drew Holiday is a really good player. I don't, I don't think people remember, but Drew Holiday did score fifty and was was a, a, a Kyrie Irving number two. Honestly, Drew Holiday is, is 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 a problem. But Davion Mitchell, I like that comparison. Davion Mitchell's a great NBA player, great defender, um, really a dog. I forgot what the other comparison was. But I don't want him to hang his hat on defense, honestly. Um, that's going to get your foot in the door. Being that, that dog, being that defender, everybody comes in a, a defender, bro. High energy guy, 3 and D. Like, that's that's – that's just getting your foot into the door. You got to be able to play defense. You got to be able to make shots. I think later on, when the game slows down for him, he's going to be able to make those assist plays. He's going to be able to get to that rim. Probably needs to get a little stronger. He he looks strong already. Um, I think they said he's like two ten, at six one. He's a he's a big guard. Like he's not a little dude at all. Pause. But um, just being able to get that contact and be able to finish through it sometimes, keep that floater. Get that midi right, be able to make threes off the dribble. I think Bronny would be ready. I give him, a, I give him, I give him two, three years. You got, you gotta give him at least two, three years to develop, bro. Like, and a good, a good comparison of of somebody needing them two, three years is this guy right here. Everybody thought he was gonna come in and immediately be be the guy. He had a couple, he had a couple good games, but it's not what we expected from School Henderson at all. Going into the 2023 I think, NBA. I think their uh, progression would be pretty similar. Scoot was killing the G League. I think Bronny will start catching his stride towards the middle later in the G League. He not he might not go as crazy as Scoot did in the G League because Scoot was, Scoot was out there killing. I'm not going to lie. He he looked like a mini LeBron. But um, Bronny going to catch his stride, man. Give him, oh, my God, what the hell? <laughs> almost killed this up for it. That's what you need. No, I'm playing. Um, give Brady some time, man. Give Brady some time. He's he going to be all right. I believe in him. Brown believes in him. Whoever drafts him. Most likely it's going to be the Lakers. But if somebody want to be petty and try to get Brown over there, I'm sure they're going to end up believing in him too. Because if you watch his, his, his high school, watch his USC stuff, it's not like he's out there looking terrible, bro. He's just not aggressive. He's not an aggressive guy on the court. And that has to change. To be quite frank, that has to change. But appreciate y'all tuning in always, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you think Bronny James is ready. I don't think he's ready. But, I mean, he's, he can get ready in the next few years. Let me know if you agree um, he should be the Davion Mitchell, the Drew Holiday, the whatever the third comparison was, or what, what do you think he, he's going to end up being in the long run? Um, like I said, appreciate y'all. Tune in to the next one. Peace.